we finally have some good news. We were able to, we spotted a group of bucks with a pretty good buck, three by four. Um, for this unit, he's a nice buck. He'll be a shooter. Um, I'm just happy to finally find some bucks and a buck that's worth chasing. Um, so we're gonna watch him for a minute and then keep looking. There's a buck in here that I know of that is real big and he's the one we're looking for and uh, I think we'll find him so he'll probably be my number one if we're able to find him and then this is a good group of bucks that I can stock if, if we don't find anything else. What do you think Taylor? Good. So today we got a little bit of a late start. Um, we haven't really seen much. It's not too late though, so I just don't think there's a whole lot here. And like we've said, this is a tough area. Um, but first thing this morning, we saw a 28 inch buck. He had like a cool inline on one of his back forks. Um, but his uh, forks were super crabby, so just not one that we're really interested in. And then we also saw the bucks from yesterday. So it's a good thing that we're seeing that big one from yesterday consistently. Uh, Cause he's definitely on our list to go after. All right, we're heading out for G's archery mule deer hunt. Yep, uh, it's a couple days after the opener, but unfortunately I had to work through the opener. But it's all good, we're headed out, it's late. Just got off work, got everything packed up. We're about half hour from our camp spot, and then from there we're gonna camp in the truck tonight, and then load up in the side-by-side -side and um, get up on a, on a point on the ridge uh, and start hiking probably an hour before daylight start hiking into a spot that uh, we've seen a couple bucks and I know that it's uh, it could produce a good buck so we're gonna go for that first um, and uh, just go from there we're gonna hike in camp out for a night and um, yeah hopefully it works out we have Taylor's sister and her boyfriend coming along with us so that's gonna bit, be fun we're a little bit new to hunting so it'll be kind of fun yeah yeah first first uh overnight stay on the mountain Made it to camp, um, got it all set up in the dark, so I got a tent. There's Reese and AJ over there in their truck. Got the side by side. Packs, all we have to do is load our sandwiches, bow, tent, and that's it. So, ready we're gonna, to go get to sleep all right so this is inside our tent we got a little mini ac and a fan keep us cool this summer it's pretty nice um and of course i'm waiting on taylor waiting on a woman as always she's still not in bed we have to get up in like four hours so i'm gonna try to get to bed and she's gonna suffer in the morning all right, we're getting ready to head out. First day of hunting. Yeah. Got all our stuff ready to go. Like an old man, I have to stretch before I hike in. <laughs> Drinking our water. Yeah, drink, drink as much as we can. Only can pack so much water with us. So. But we're ready to go. Spotted earlier this year with another nice buck and a bunch of 
box. So that right now, if they're where we think they are, they're right tucked in under this cliff. The wind is alright for now, so we're gonna try to make a move. Hopefully, we can capitalize on this. Yeah, we just need to hit that there spot for us. Yeah, we're so far. start climbing as it gets a little warmer. So we'll wait for a while. Plus, we'll wait for these guys to bed and see what happens. Try to sneak in, hopefully. Yeah, combine for our first day. Hopefully we can make it happen. Alright, so we sat here a while waiting for the wind to hopefully start going up. Uh, but then we saw him running down below. Um, so we're just gonna keep an eye on them. Well, dang, guys. These bucks have been giving us a slip all day. Group of eight, and, uh, Spot them early in the morning in a good spot. Went to a not as good spot, and then again, they went to a good spot. Um, so I snuck down in here. Taylor, AJ, and Reese stayed up top and watched. They couldn't see the bucks at the location they were at because the draw, but they could see if they got up and moved. And I got down here, and lo and behold, they did. They went right towards the bottom, right where I wouldn't expect them to go. Granted, they were getting water, but then I was 150 yards from them, and I thought that they'd come back up, but no. Decided to just go right down the bottom of the canyon. No idea why. I know I didn't spook them, so these deer are just wily. I don't know. They like to move a lot for whatever reason, but I'm going to give them a break for the day and uh, try to get to the top of this huge mountain. And uh, relax and find something else this evening. That's the plan. See you then. Got anything to say to the camera? Were you recording that? <laughs> no. Um, I got to say I'm tired. I'm tired. Gee. Yeah. I feel great. Oh, I'm never coming again. <laughs> All right, we made it to where we're gonna camp for the night. We all got up here and sat in the shade and took a nap. AJ is still over there. <laughs> but I got my jet quail going. And we are just glassing for some deer. Yeah. So hopefully we find something tonight. We can go out for the morning or we'll see. Yeah, they should be getting up soon. So we'll see. Hopefully, we can find something in the morning. Something different or the same books. But yeah, that's the game plan. Find something. Alright, All so right. going to bed. Whoa. <laughs>
<clears throat> yeah, it was, a, it was a rough day today. Um, Lots of hiking. Just uh, those eight bucks. Um, we did end up spawning them tonight, but nothing else, so that sucks. But we kind of know why now, because we ended up spotting a lion like 400 yards from us. Um, so that's probably a good reason why these deer are so skittish and why uh, there's not many left. Yeah, so. Mason AJ are over there. <laughs> we're getting well back to eat and we're gonna get in bed. Dude, I'll go all again in the morning. Yep. See you in the morning. Alright, good morning, guys. It's uh, about 5 30. Um, so, probably good on the mountain last night. Um, I got up earlier than the rest of them because I wanted to come over here to this next ridge and check it out so just about over here as you can see the sun's just coming out golden hour hopefully i can find some when i pop over um hopefully they can find those other bugs maybe something else I'll keep you updated all right so it is like 6 30 in the morning um we split up. G went on a hike this morning over the backside from where we camped. Um, and I just was trying to find those bucks from yesterday and I found them pretty early this morning. I'm just trying to keep an eye on them. They are pretty much in the same spot where we tried to stalk them the first time yesterday. So if they bed there, it's not great. Um, but, you know, at least we found them. I think G's trying to find that three point that they've seen in years past, but um, we're not having much luck. We did see that lion last night, which was kind of cool. really cool to see but it does suck because I think that's why there's just not near as many deer here this year and the deer are acting really weird they don't bed for very long at all and that makes it really hard to try and stalk them and get on them but hopefully G finds something on his hike um, that we can maybe hunt our way out of here G's dad's gonna come pick us up later um, once we hike out so hopefully we kind of have a last ditch effort for this spot we're still going to be out here for three more days reese and aj are going to go home today but yeah hopefully something happens for us well i've officially um given up on this spot <laughs> i think we covered a lot of it i'm sure there's a couple bucks still around but there's not that many deer this year. I think the lions might have something to do with it. I don't know. But it's tough. We covered pretty much this whole mountain range. I'm sure there's some deer. I know there's eight. We saw them. Saw them again this morning and there's not any good spot to stalk. Um, so I think we're going to head off and hit a different location. Um, I'm going to meet up with the Taylor and the other guys here shortly. For now, I'm snacking on a little Vienna sausages. Yum. Um, hopefully, next time we talk to you, <laughs> well, we're out of off this mountain and. I think we're gonna move spots, especially after seeing that lion. We just don't think there's as much in there now. So we're gonna 
pack up and go find somewhere else to glass this evening for a later hunt. We'll see what we find yep. this evening. Yep. See what we can do. Go take a shower. Head out for the evening. Take care of my blisters. Yep. It's gonna be tough. We gotta figure out where to go now. Because after uh, hunting this spot that we hunt every year and there's always plenty of deer, there being nothing, makes me worry. So, I don't know. We'll think about it. See where we end up tonight. Alright, so it's the evening time. I'm home and showered and got all cleaned up and went out for an evening glass just out of the truck. And uh, Taylor's just spotted a good buck. Um, in one of the canyons that we we're looking at the main canyon we wanted to look at we came over here didn't find anything but there's pretty sure there's someone up there right now so it's a good thing we Taylor spotted this buck he's he's a stud he's a good good buck best one so far um, they're slim but hopefully we can capitalize on this tomorrow it's in a good spot. I mean, come back and get a good stock. Yeah, yeah, we gotta capitalize because not much around here. I think this might be one of the few chances we got at a good buck like this. Fingers crossed. Wish us luck. All right, so got a bit of an update for you. Um, this morning I hiked way up on top of the mountain above where this buck is, and Taylor and my dad and Dylan. Yeah, sat down below where they could watch him so they got eyes on him and I'm up here above him he's in the same spot as he was last night but he's not in a great spot he's up right now we're hoping he goes to a little better spot and uh, wait for the thermals to start going uphill pretty solid and then uh, hopefully make a move in and get her done but he's a the stud buck and I hope we can make it happen. Alright. So the buck bed is in a decent spot. I snuck over here, I snuck down. Was it gonna work? I got eyes on the buck. And uh, I think I have a pretty good shot. If I go around, go to the next ridge and pop up, it'll be close. Really close. He's kinda looking that way. I just shot that buck. I hit him a little high, but he's down. I don't know if he's dead yet, but I don't think he's going anywhere. And Taylor, my dad, and Dylan have eyes on him, so I'm gonna run up and get my stuff and then uh, go down there. Hopefully, he's dead. He should be, but yeah, 30 yards. Came out behind the tree and just thumped him. He is a stud. Got her done. Oh yeah, look at that. 
very nice buck. Good day. Yeah, one of the most massive bucks I have ever seen. He is a Looking stud. Looking good back there. Um, awesome stock. Yeah, the stock was awesome. Every, everything just worked out perfect. Spotters did great. Made it good. The stock worked out good. Like perfectly stepped out, looked away. Everything was perfect. It just worked out perfect. I made a little bit of a high shot, so I didn't have to finish him off, which I hate doing. I feel bad for the animal, but it wasn't long, and he was out of his misery, so... Really, it worked out really well.